Chinese President Xi Jinping has found a new proxy in India's neighborhood, Nepal's Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli. Oli has been making nasty remarks, aggressively raking up irredentism against New Delhi and blaming India for spreading coronavirus in the landlocked Himalayan country. Why has the K.P. Sharma Oli government suddenly become hostile against India? Recently, the ruling Nepal Communist Party was headed for a split, which would have meant curtains for the K.P. Sharma Oli government. But Xi Jinping put all his weight behind Nepal's Prime Minister and the Chinese ambassador to Nepal, Hu Yanqi, held a series of meetings with senior Nepal Communist Party leaders to rescue K.P. Sharma Oli. In April, the K.P. Sharma Oli government had introduced two ordinances amending the Political Party Act and the Constitutional Council Act. The amendments would have mandated that a party could split if 40% of either its central members or parliamentary party members wanted to register a new party. Currently, the consent of 40% of both the central committee and parliamentary party is required. This had not gone down well with the Dahal faction. The Nepal Communist Party is an amalgamation of the Communist Party of Nepal, United Marxist, Leninist and the Communist Party of Nepal, Maoist Center. The fissures within the party had appeared with the ordinances as the Dahal faction interpreted it as a threat to split the ruling Communist Party in case the Dahal faction censured him. The KP Sharma Oli government was forced to retract the ordinances. Days after Beijing rescued KP Sharma Oli, Kathmandu became suddenly hostile towards New Delhi. Days after China's deep intervention into Nepal, India inaugurated the Darchula Lipulek road link in Uttarakhand. The road is constructed on Indian territory. Construction on the project had started in 2008. For 12 years, Nepal did not object but now that India has gained a vantage point only 4 kilometers away from the LAC at the Lipulek tri-junction, Nepal is up in arms. The Nepalese government did not just object. It has also been making provocative moves against India. Earlier this week, it released a revised political map that shows parts of India's territory Lipulek, Kalapani and Limpiyadhura under Nepalese territory. Nepal's Prime Minister is himself speaking in an extremely distasteful language, unbecoming of a head of government. On Wednesday, KP Sharma Oli made certain unsavory remarks against India that can seriously jeopardize the civilizational links between the two countries. Taking a veiled jibe at India, he said, We are least bothered if anyone gets angry and will reclaim the land at any cost. Nepal has never been as vocal about the Kalapani border dispute, but now it is ratcheting it all of a sudden. The minor territorial dispute has no strategic significance for Nepal, but it is crucial for India's ambitions to thwart Chinese expansionism. KP Sharma Oli is helping Beijing by raking up the border dispute with India. And Oli knows how raking such territorial disputes jeopardize India's security situation. In an insensitive remark, he even brought up the 1962 Sino-India war and said, India has deployed its troops in Kalapani since 1962 and our rulers in the past hesitated to raise the issue. The communist government in Nepal downplays Chinese land grab in Nepal but blows minor disputes with India out of proportion. The next time there is a confrontation between India and China, Kathmandu might support China instead of supporting India. KP Sharma Oli owes his survival to Beijing and therefore he is speaking on behalf of Xi Jinping instead of speaking for the Nepalese people. He is threatening to sever ties with India which will adversely affect the people of Nepal. But Oli's loyalties lie with Xi Jinping and not with the people of Nepal. This fact is not lost on New Delhi either. Recently, Indian Army Chief M.M. Narvane made it clear that the Lipulak Pass is not a dispute. In an indirect reference to China, he said, There is a reason to believe that they might have raised this issue at the behest of someone else and that is very much a possibility. China is known to buy out the loyalty of leaders across the world to expand its influence and it seems that Nepal's Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli is the latest casualty.